Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Unity. Yeah. One body, one mind. one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Yeah. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. Yeah. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Yeah. Gotta make the world feel it. How you doing, sis? destroying you though the people that smoke they're and drink too much how how give me one sign that they're being destroyed that the lord is destroying them the lord is not destroying the lord the devil the lord put a smile on his plan of choice read that, that again from the top read that again from the top all right i'm gonna give one smile. one reason cancer y'all said it earlier cancer, cancer. does not always cancer kill smoking. what is another reason Big holes in your neck. What's another reason? Laziness. Another way. Heart failure. Laziness. High blood pressure. Read that from the top again, bro. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. This is close. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. You brothers and sisters, you Israelites are the temple of God. Read. And not the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Spirit of God dwell in you, but if you be defiled, unclean, the Lord can't dwell in you. You can't be holy. I can't look at my brother and say he's a holy person, a man of God, when he's walking around drunk, when he's walking around defiling his temple. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Now, here's what the Lord said he's going to do to the man that defiled the temple of, of God, because your body is the temple of God. Read. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. How God is going to destroy him? Brother right here, God I said it earlier. He does not destroy you, man. He I'll does not. He, he does not destroy you. How, how does no, God destroy you with? All right, give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3. Read that. that you Listen might to not this. Be quoting that oh, book right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord said he formed the light and the darkness. He created good and evil. That's right. He formed all these things. Go to Deuteronomy. Read that. Yeah. The book of De Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I am he. This is what the Lord is saying. Read. And there is no God God says, no God with him. I kill. The Lord 
Lord kills. When you drop dead, the Lord killed you. Right. When you see somebody get by hit by a car, the Lord killed them. Right. When you see somebody die of cancer, the Lord killed them. Right. When you see somebody die of gun violence, the Lord killed them. That's right. right. I kill and I make a lie. He make a lie. Read. I wound. He wounds you. And I heal. And he got the power to heal you. Yes, Go to Amos chapter Amen. 3 and 6. Bring it on. we're trying to tell you that these are the things that defile the temple of God. Right. Smoking. Right. Drinking excessively. Getting drunk. Smoking drugs. Eating the foul food. Eating the foul food such Bring as up. pig, pork, uh, crab, lobster. We're trying to tell you that. We, Y'all got the spirit on you right now because you're listening. Read that. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? What's that trumpet? That's us warning you right now. We're warning you. Teach. You should be afraid because God is, he judges. When God put that burn of judgment on you, he will condemn you to death. God has the power to condemn you. He has the Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Any kind of evil that happened in the city, it's the Lord that done it. Even the condition that you're in today, the Lord put you there. Go to Deuteronomy. That's it on that? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. The Lord does all things. Even the condition that we are in today, the Lord put us there. Do you think we're on top of the people? We're at the bottom. Right. We're not the head, right? We're the tail. Teach. We're not the lender. We're the borrower. Borrower. You know why? Because the Lord said all these things that's going to happen to us. Bring it up. Why these things happen to us? The Lord going to explain. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Listen, this is the Lord talking to the children of Israel. We were in captivity under the ancient Egyptians, the pharaohs. Have you ever heard of the Hebrew slaves? Yes. Yes. When the Lord freed us, Moses spoke to us then, telling us what? Read. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. To do all the Lord's commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. The Lord still command us to keep his commandments, his laws, and his statutes yes, this day. Yes, he does. Today, he still command us to do that. But if we don't, read. That all these curses, curses, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, there's a curse. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Huh? Bad thing. Y'all right. Curse is a bad thing. Go to verse 45. I'm explain. It's going to explain that curse is a bad thing. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Till thou be destroyed. That's what we talked about earlier that the Lord will destroy us for defiling his temple. Right. Our body is his temple. Right. Right. Cigarette is a curse. Right. Alcohol, excessive drinking is a curse. All right? Hello. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall not be in the city. Curse shall not be in the city. We got our people on drugs in the city walking around here like zombies. Right. Dying. Falling over of too much alcohol. Church that we be in the city, every city you go to, you see that in the ghettos. Who are in the ghettos of every city? Our people. Black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's Our right. people. Read. And curse shall that be in the field. We cursed in the field too. We've been cursed in the field since past times, since slavery. Bring it out. We came over here in the cotton field. We was cursed. On the plantations, we were cursed. Today we still curse in the field, in the work environment. But we, we will only judge work. no one that just we only work the just Lord enough. in Israelites. All right, just enough to try to live. Some of us can't even work. All right, read, go to verse 68. You can't get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt you again with ships. How do we get over here in America? Ships. With what? Ships. Was it a cruise ship? No, it was a flag ship. Bring it out, right? What is it? Was it a, was it a cruise ship, brother? We know we came over here and shit. It was a slave ship. 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 Slave ship
ship. You see that? We was packed like sardines. Teach. We came over here to play ship. But he told us, we didn't listen to his word, that all these curses that are going to come upon us. The fourth part. Right. Here's one of the curses. Right. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with Ships. Into Egypt. Egypt. Into Egypt is where show me what Egypt. I'm gonna show you what Egypt means. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means what? Bondage. Bondage. When you in bondage, when you in bondage, what that mean? Slavery. That's right. Right on point. Read that point. Right on point, slavery. Go back to 68. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again. Slavery in the hand with what? With ships. With ships. Keep reading. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, I shall see it no more again. And there you shall be sold. You shall be sold. You see, we got the blessing. We were sitting up here. We were sold to Master Charles for twenty dollars. Right. Sold to Master Andrew for thirty dollars. Right. What's your last name, bro? Huh? Lip Charles. What's yours? Willis Bishop. Willis. So those now his last names are who? Of your slave master. That's you right. Sold to your slave master. What they do? They brand you and gave you their last name. Read that again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women, for slave women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall save you. Right. We haven't been saved. A lot of times you see on the news, you see the, the presidents of this country saying, oh, we got to go into Iraq. He destroying the people. We got to go and save the people. We got to go to Libya and save the people. We have people that rose up within. We had Fred Hampton. We had Malcolm X. Martin Luther King. But what happened? As far as the other nations, they didn't come say, oh, y'all doing this to these people, we're going to come bomb you. Right. No, they ain't say that. As far as the leaders that woke up with them, they tried, but what happened to them? Gunshot, killed. Jeez. Man, they have to kill. Right. Martin Luther King, killed. Right. Malcolm X, dead. Right. That's what happened to them. Because why? Because of the curses the Lord put upon his people. That's right. Because of the curses, because we would not follow his commandments. All right, let me give you a commandment. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Let me give you a commandment. Now that y'all know the power of the Lord and how the Lord deals with the people, his people who do not follow his commandments, he gives terrible judgment. Judgment. We're in captivity still this day. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. What is this saying? Come up closer so I can hear you. About right there, yeah. Then what? You said help no other man. Okay, it, this church is saying the head of every man is Christ. You say that you your own man. What you say? Okay, Christ is the leader of the man. Right. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. That's clear, right? The head of the woman is the man. The man is the leader of the woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. The Most High God. So Christ got a head as well. Read. And every man praying or prophesying. So praying, when you're praying, and as we're doing right now, we're prophesying. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So in the midst of praying or prophecy, if your head is covered, you dishonor your head, which is Christ. So what is what is that telling you to do right now? Do that, brother. That's right. right here. You on your way to following the commandments of God. So every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. So what you taking that hat off shows respect for Christ. That's right. Shows respect for the Most High God. Shows respect for the prophet. Shows respect 
for yourself. Bro, because you're an Israelite, brother, from the tribe. What's your dad? Look on that sign right here. Judah, from the tribe of Judah. That's right. All right, bro. Mighty tribe, let me give you another commandment. Yeah, Luke 15 and 7. All right, listen to this right here. Give me the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 7. The book of Luke, chapter 15 and verse 7. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over 90. Go ahead. Joy shall be in heaven for over one sinner that repented. What we out here to do? We out here to wake up our people That's from right. who they are to their nationality to who they were before they came over here on slave ship. That's you right. We were a nation of people bigger than slavery. When you look at TV, where all they teach you? Martin Luther King, they'll teach you nothing that happened before 1776. Right. right. Nothing. Teach. We ain't here to wake our people up to who we were. We were a great people. We're from the King David, King Solomon, King Saul. We're from those people. We are the bloodline of those people. We are the real Jews. That's right. All right, read that again. I say unto you that likewise, Joy shall be in heaven. It's joy in heaven because of that. The Lord is happy to see his people waking up, even if it's just one. That's what we out here to do. Read. Over one sinner that repented. Over one sinner that repented. It's joy in heaven. All right, give me that. Is that the end of that? More than over 99 just persons, which need no repentance. You hear that? The Lord preferred one sinner repenting. Over 99 that person that need no So that's the choice. It's that they rejoicing in heaven right now. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.